The springs have been active for millions of years. As a source of fresh water, this area would have been a prime location for human habitation since our earliest ancestors here in North America. A site this large and this complex is really more than any one person can fully understand over the course of their career or their lifetime. What we have here is, is really a unique opportunity to document the fact that folks have been attracted to this, this lovely springside setting uh, since, the, since before the end of the last ice age. Spring Lake is a time capsule and these springs were dammed 150 years ago essentially creating an underwater archaeological preserve and protecting what once were terrestrial deposits in an aquatic underwater environment. With funding from the National Geographic Society and the Wade Institute, and in a collaboration between the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment and the Center for Archaeological Studies here on campus at Texas State University, we've initiated the first ever underwater geoarchaeology survey of Spring Lake. The first phase of the project is a sub-bottom profile survey. And basically what that is, is there's an electronic apparatus that's connected to a bunch of computer monitors on our barge, and we just drive lanes back and forth throughout the lake. And we basically, what we like to call, mow the lawn. Uh, and what that does is it, it pings, it uses sound, sort of like a fish finder, and it catches the echo back um, off, of the, off of the lake bed, but it also reads into the sediments. So that gives us an idea of the depth of the sediment, how thick they are, levels of compaction. You can actually see some, some stratigraphy or different layers of sediment in the electronic readout. The second phase is subsequent to the first because the sub-bottom profile survey will give us an idea of what targets are the best in order to take core samples, which will give us a snapshot of that depositional history. We'll take the core samples back to the laboratory where they'll be cut in half and then we will do the analysis of the sediments. This clay is kind of showing the soil development and then it would make sense to have charcoal in that, possibly campfires. And that will allow us to have a better understanding of truly what the history was here and what were people doing and what was the environment like uh, over the course of time here in the Springs. We're optimistic that the results of this project are going to help guide and direct uh, and make more efficient archaeological and scientific research for many, many years to come. To get this kind of seed money to help do this um, uh, phase one survey or assessment uh, has been really important for us. Working in this environment is really cool, uh, not to mention the fact that this is right on campus. Being able to work in a setting of such natural beauty and uh, and actually interact with history. I mean, we're barely scratching the surface on, on what this area has to tell us about our past.